Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> So in this session, we will try to solve the roots of the quadratic equation by the use of factoring when the coefficient is 1. So what does it mean when we say the coefficient is 1? So recalling the standard form, we have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Our a here is 1. Okay, to start, let us first recall our quadratic equation in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So if the given is already in the standard form, so we can make use of factoring as a method to solve the roots. But I would just like to remind everyone that the level of difficulty in this session is from a simple exercises to a little bit more complex. But the question is, how do we Factor. So in this session, I will be introducing to you a very rare technique method for factoring, which is the diamond method. Now for you to understand what do we mean by diamond method, let us take some example. Now since in this example, it's already written in the standard form of the quadratic equation, we can simply use already the diamond method. Now, what will we do with this diamond method? Okay, first step. What you are going to do is we write the coefficient of the middle term, which is 3, in the upper part of our diamond. Now, in the lower part of our diamond, we will write the constant term in the bottom, which is 2. Now, what shall we do with these numbers 3 and 2? Now, we will look for two factors that we will write in this side of the diamond. The product should be 2 and the sum should be 3. And that is, of course, 2 and 1. Because 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3. So, that is now the product and the sum. So, what is the use of 2 and 1? That will be our factor already of the given quadratic equation, which is now p plus 2, p plus 1 is equal to 0. Equating them both to 0, we have p plus 2 equals 0 and p plus 1 equals 0. So we have values of our p, which is negative 2 and negative 1. Now you can check your accuracy by substituting either of the values of p, which is negative 2 or negative 1, to the given quadratic equation. So let us have another example. d squared minus 5d is equal to negative 6. Now since the given equation is not in the standard form, so we will rewrite this into the form itself. So what we are going to do is we transpose. That gives us now d squared minus 5d plus 6 is equal to 0. So this time we can now apply our diamond method. So the same as usual, the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 5, that is placed at the top of our diamond, and the last term, which is 6 as a constant, is at the bottom. So we will now look for the product and the sum. So we'll look for two factors in such a way that the product is 6 and the sum is negative 5. Of course, that is negative 2 and negative 3. Now, you will ask me, uh, what if negative 3 is placed here and negative 2 is at the other side? So, uh, no worries. It doesn't matter anyway because they are all negative. So, you can place negative 3 here and negative 2 in the other side and vice versa. So, this negative 2 and negative 3, of course, that is our factor d minus 2, so whatever is the sign here is also the sign, negative 3, so d minus 3 equals 0. So equating them both to 0, that gives us d is 2, d is equal to 3. Let's have another example. So if you are going to look at our given quadratic equation, it's actually a little bit complicated or complex in the sense but what we are going to do in this equation is we will rewrite this into standard form. So first is we are going to transpose the entire equation here or expression rather to the other side of the equation. 
So that gives us this one. And if you notice, I already arranged them in such a way that they are already in similar. Um, simplifying this further, of course, that gives us x squared minus 7x because x minus 8x is negative 7x. A negative 8 and negative 10 is negative 18, of course, equals 0. So since the coefficient of our x squared is already 1, it's already imaginary, so we can now apply our diamond method. So negative 7 is already here and negative 18 is at the bottom. So let us now look for two factors that the product is negative 18 and when we add them, it's negative 7. Of course, that is negative 9 and 2. Sir, can we interchange 2 and negative 9? Of course, we can. But we cannot interchange the sign. If it is already negative 9, it should be negative 9. If it is positive 2, it should be positive 2. But you can interchange them in their places or in their positions right now. So our factor now is x minus 9 and x plus 2. So following the sign already written in our diamond method. So equating them both to 0 and transposing negative 9 and positive 2 to the other side that gives us x is equal to 9 and x is equal to negative 2. So at this point you will be asking me um, what if the coefficient a is no longer equal to 1 and a is already greater than 1. Example, 2 or 3 and so on and so forth. We will answer the question in my next video. So for your practice worksheet in this session, uh, in solving quadratic equation by factoring, of course, I have prepared already a Google Drive link in the description box below this video. So I hope you've learned something from our session. And if you have, please like and comment and please share also the video for those people who really need it most. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. Thank you.